bodyweight training is what I've been doing with my clients for say the past six months. Uh, but, but the thing is a lot of people are actually a little bit skeptical because they think, well, body, you know, how much can you do with your body weight? Am I going to get the same results as if I work out in a gym? Well, the answer is yes, and possibly even better. Now, aside from the fact that there are so many different progressions that you can do when it comes to body weight exercises, for example, when it comes to an upper body push exercise, you know, that probably the easiest variation is going to be either an incline push up or a push up on your knees. But from there, you know, you can advance to decline push ups, you can do pike push ups, you could even uh, go to plyometric exercises like clap push ups. So there's always going to be an exercise that's going to challenge you. But even if you do get to the point where you're mastering even the most advanced exercises, there are still ways that you can mix up your training in order to continue to see results. So first, first um, variable you could mix up is your tempo. If your goal is to build muscle, you want to ensure that you have uh, a time under tension of 40 to 70 seconds per set. That's for hypertrophy or building muscle. So can you honestly say that your set of push-ups is taking you at least 40 seconds to do? If not, it might be time to slow it down a little bit. So, aside from tempo, you know, you, uh, always focusing on progressive overload, you could add in more sets or reps. Or you could simply reduce the rest periods in between sets and do the same amount of work. That's, that's another form of progressive overload. Uh, and simply, you could also focus on executing the exercise better. So, are you feeling those target muscles with each and every rep that you do? You know, are you getting a pump in the area that you're supposed to be working? So these are all different uh, variables that you can use in order to create different stimulus, different stimulus in your workouts in order to continue to see results. And don't let the gyms, the fact that the gyms are still closed, demotivate you from continuing your workouts.